Yeah, Justin and Jadion, that's right. They say that there's a lot of traffic problems for neighbors and the street that goes by here. However, the church says they're not buying it. For this week and next week, there's about 2,500 people that are going to be without food. Kristen Golden lives a few blocks away from Crossroads Family Church, the place where thousands of people come twice a month to get their food. She's upset the unified government is bringing the program to a halt. When I go into my neighborhood, okay, and I know that there's prosperity in my neighborhood, and somebody's looking out their window, and they're looking down on somebody else because they're in need, and they say, you are not welcome in my neighborhood, that makes me sad that I live here. The city said in a statement to 41 Action News that it received numerous complaints from neighbors about the high volume of people in the area for the food pantry. The city also says it disrupts traffic, which is illegal. The city gave me this piece of paper. It's a use of right away permit that it says the church and the food pantry leaders need to fill out in order to host the event. However, I spoke to the church and the people in charge, and they say the city has yet to communicate that to them. I honestly wish that I could say I'm shocked. But I'm not, because these are the politics of Wyandotte County. Janice Witt started this feeding effort. She says the program isn't breaking any rules, and she won't let the unified government end something that helps so many. We will be here tomorrow, because there are people who we haven't reached. We are trying hard to feed this community. And as we said, KCK is citing concerns from the neighbors in this area that there's a lot of traffic disruptions and it's blocking their driveways. However, I spent a lot of time this afternoon going door to door and talking to neighbors. And of about the dozen people I talked to, only one said they think the food pantry is really causing a problem. Reporting live in Kansas City, Kansas, Lexi Suter, 41 Action News.